So you own Nitrous and Hans. They're two of your horses at Majestic Frisians, and they're the two that are going to be in the movie. So how does it feel to own movie star horses? Oh, we're very proud. This has been 10 years of training and a lot of people's passion to make this happen. And we always thought they were special. We just didn't know how special. And just kind of was following the path that was made for us, I guess. But we're very, very proud of it. In Europe, it's already a huge, huge buzz. Um, Ashley's being interviewed, might even meet the Queen of England um, because it's such a huge thing to have a Frisian horse as a movie star in England because they are from Friesland. So we're very, very proud. So in a way, they're going home. People they're that bred nitrous, we just got hold of them because they're from a poor family in Friesland. And they just found out that nitrous was going to be in the, in the movie. We just got contacted them through the KFPS in um, Europe. And they were crying. They were so excited. So they were having like a big reunion when we're over in, in Europe. They're going to come see them. They haven't seen them in 11 years. That's cool. Yeah. We're really excited about that. It's a lot of work for the horses and it's, it's a lot to keep up with. It's teaching them tricks and then unteaching them tricks and then teaching them new ones to start a different set. It's one thing I imagine to work in your barn or out in your own corral and teach a trick. Mm -hmm. But now you've got to do a trick and the horse has to focus on you. You're farther away than you've been in the past. And there's two dozen people around and they're all talking and doing their thing. And how do you at first, it's, it's really nerve-wracking, but as, as soon as we start getting into our routine, then he kind of forgets about everything that's around him and focuses on, on what we're doing. And he, he gets lots of rewards throughout the set, so he stays pretty happy. They film part of the, play, part of the film at our farm. Um, John Curry and his family were so gracious to let us film at the um, Clear Lake Golf Course, and they had some beautiful footage there. And then we also filmed at a home in Stanwood as well. And so we got some beautiful footage there too. So they were really thrilled with the Michigan footage. It's supposed to look like Vermont, but they decked our house out and they just made it look beautiful. And then the footage is beautiful, so. What's a typical day like on set? Complete chaos. <laughs> we all want to get everything done and quickly and we don't want to have to redo anything 10 times. And so as chaotic, as much chaos as it is, everybody's focused and everybody's um, just working to get it done. And so that's really nice. Well, can you tell us about the movie in general? Well, it's like a fantasy movie um, based on um, Nitrous's name is Dagdia, and he is supposed to be this um, magical horse. And um, he comes from another land and he comes to get this little girl that's in our land. It's very much like Chronicles of Narnia. And the stallion picks up the little girl and brings her back to um, their country and to save this conflict that's going on in their, in their world. Lots of really cool special effects, lots of top name movie stars. Um, the, the Bulgaria scenes, they've already showed us a lookbook of it and the scenes are un unbelievable. Castles and incredible caves and dungeons and waterfalls and all this beautiful scenery that is just un, unimaginable because we would never be able to bring horses in it in the United States. Those would be like historical grounds, but they're getting special permission for us to film there and have the horses there. So it's going to be pretty amazing, especially for the kids to be able to see that country is going to be fun. Nitrous yeah. actually loves it when people clap at him and and say, good boy, and, and he loves the, the praise by people. <laughs> So this is what he was doing on set when uh, they said that we didn't have to practice anything. Uh huh. Because he was smiling and like communicating with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> like he knew what they wanted. It's so strange. This is a horse made for Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so after the set, everyone screams for him and and praises him, and then he perks his head and ears up, and he's like, "Oh yay! Everyone loves me." <laughs> it's he's turning out to be quite the diva. Sure. Yeah. You're gonna sit down in the theater, you've got your popcorn, you've got your drink, and you look up on the screen and that's your horse and that's your daughter. And what do you think that's gonna be like? Amazing. Just seeing the first clip that they um sent us, I get weepy because <laughs> I started crying the first time. 
as soon as they saw, they did a slow motion picture of nature just running through the, the woods at Clear Lake. It was so beautiful, and it, we were so proud. I mean, this is 15 years of breeding horses and coming up with this immac immaculate breed that's just amazing, and for other people to see it and to be on the big screen, along with my whole family, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm actually mostly excited for um, representing the Frisian breed because me and Lori, our, our hearts are truly um, with the Frisian breed and uh, sharing that with everybody. It's so cool because this Frisian breed is so amazing and f to let everybody in the world see this horse and, and the activity that it's getting is just amazing. They are so excited because they've never had anything like this with the Frisian horses um, and, the, uh, and the amount of publicity that we're going to get for the breed because the breed is a small breed in the United States, comparative to other breeds of horses. And uh, this will really, um, it'll really showcase them. So we're very, very proud all the way around.